Hey there, recovery fam. Welcome back to Scott's Thoughts. We're never to feel alone. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and warm. Uh, if you're new to the community, please hit that big red support button down there and that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos or streams. So I'm bringing you today another reading from the Just For Today book. Uh, it's a day that gives you something to uh, think about during your day, meditate on, work towards through, uh, throughout your day as well. And uh, it's been a very beneficial part of my uh, my recovery and um, helps me with, uh, with my life stuff. So uh, today, today is uh, the reading for today is for February 16th. And it's called Faithful Feelings. And the little read, there's also always a little reading before the reading. And the little reading for today is when we, when we refuse to accept the reality of today, we are denying faith in, in our higher power. This can only bring more suffering. And that's from the IP number 8, just for today. And the reading for today is, Some days just aren't the way we wish they would be. Or problems may be as simple as a broken shoelace, or having to stand in line at the supermarket. Or we may experience something far more serious, such as a loss of a job, a home, a loved one, or a loved one. Either way, we often end up looking for a way to avoid feelings instead of simply acknowledging that those feelings are painful. No one promises us that everything will go away when we stop using. In fact, we can be sure that life will go on whether we're using or not. When we face when we face good days, oh, we will face good days and bad days comfortable feelings and painful feelings, but we don't have to run from them any longer. We can experience pain, grief, sadness, anger, frustration, all of these feelings we once avoided with drugs. We find that we can get through those emotions clean. We won't die and the world won't end, come to an end just because we have uncomfortable feelings. <clears throat> We learn to trust that we can survive that day. What we learn to trust that we can survive what each day brings. And there's always a just for today underneath the reading. And today's just for today is just for today. I will demonstrate my trust in God by experiencing this day just as it is. And uh I've really been able to uh, identify with this reading um, about feelings. Um, my experience in active addiction, or not even sometimes now, <laughs> that uh, the I'm going to have good days, I'm going to have bad days. Um, and for me, um, in active addiction, when I was when I was in active addiction, it was it was a disease. It, it is a disease of feelings. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm using or not using, life's going to continue to happen. It's just what, what, do I, what I do with that. You know, what do I do with those feelings and those emotions and stuff like that. Um, before, before I came into recovery, I would just stuff all those feelings and emotions and stuff because I, did I didn't know, I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't know how to process them. I didn't know how to, I didn't know it was okay to feel because as long as, when I was out there practicing, as long as I was numb, I was okay. Because I, did, I, I didn't want to feel, because at that fe feeling equaled hurt, you know? And today, it's, it's important that I do let myself feel. I can't just keep bottling stuff up. That's why I gotta continue con communicating and let myself feel and, and let myself grow, you know? If I'm, if I'm letting myself feel and I'm communicating and stuff like that and I'm self-identifying when I'm when I'm angry or when I'm sad or when I'm depressed or so many of the different feelings that I used to always just try to avoid all the time because I didn't know how to I didn't I didn't first of all I didn't know I didn't know where all those those feelings and emotions derived from I didn't know where they came from I didn't I didn't know how to, to deal with anything in my life. I didn't know how to cope. I didn't have any healthy coping coping skills or coping mechanisms or, or, or words <laughs> to express my feelings at all. You know, so I would I would hide away, I would isolate, I would 
I would keep myself apart from everything else that was going on in my life and I would always just be so locked up in my own head all the time because I didn't know how to communicate. I didn't have I didn't have the words to be expressed to express how I was feeling. I didn't have an I, I didn't think that there was anyone out there willing to listen. I didn't think that that what I had to share mattered. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think I I didn't think I mattered. I didn't think my my feelings and my emotions and my words and my thoughts were valid, you know? I, I didn't feel worthy. I didn't feel like I, I had any purpose. I never thought that being able to share my my experiences with not another person maybe it maybe a bit maybe may benefit someone else, you know, to maybe help them not feel so alone and I didn't I didn't understand that. I just I just I just felt, felt always felt so broken and des and, and and always in that the having that those feelings of desperation and being unworthy and not feeling like I mattered, you know. So, but today I I, I know I do I do matter. I, I I have purpose. I have something to give away, you know. Even if it's just sharing, you know. I'm going through a lot of rough stuff in my life right now and. It, 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 it's most important today that I, I share that. I share that stuff with my sponsor at meetings that, you know, I, I've learned that I can talk about anything in my life indirectly <laughs> to to other people in my life and stuff like that. Just as long as I'm saying something, doing my best to communicate with another individual and stuff like that. You know, I... Uh, <sighs> I've been I've been talking to my sponsor a lot, or talking about my all my what's going all my life stuff that's happening right now, with, like with people in my life and stuff like that, you know. And that's why I put my I put my email underneath in my description for my video. So, you no, know, if someone out there needs to talk about life stuff as well, then uh, no, I'm I'm here to listen. I'm here to I'm here to do the best I can to be that support system for you too. Um, so yeah, so, <sighs> I've been sad, I've been depressed, I've been a whole bunch of different feelings and stuff like that, and I don't have to, I don't have to run away from my feelings today, I don't have to run away from life today, you know, and I do my best to communicate with people in my life today, so people do know where I am up here. <laughs> Because I'm not, if I'm not talking and I'm not, I'm not talking, like if I'm not talking about my life stuff with other people in my life, people don't know where, where I'm at. Mentally or physically or spiritually or anything like that. And it's, those, those are the things that I never wanted to do before. And now those things are the things I must do today. You know, I have, I have to talk. I got to communicate. I got to keep moving forward and stuff like that. And so... So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you are new to the community, um, please hit that big red support button down there and that notification bell. Um, and welcome home. Welcome home to Scott's thoughts where you never have to feel alone. Yeah, so if you do need someone to talk to, my email is underneath my description in my videos. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. And I love you lots. And I'll see you again in the next video.